And so congratulations, your first start last week you kids get a big win. And uh, I know I've heard you say it was an emotional week last week. So was it just the first start or what was going on last week where it was such a such an emotional week or talk to me about that a little bit. Oh so after Montana oh, after Montana my brother my brothers and them came for the game. Um, I was planning to miss the Air Force game. Uh, Coach Bowen and were aware of that when I was supposed to go home because my grandma had passed away. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't about starting or anything. It was just that's why it was the biggest week for me because I was going through a decision of what I was going to do, and you know, and then it came down to uh, uh, staying with my brothers and uh, helping them out to a victory. So uh -huh. you know, that was that's why it was very emotional for me. And after the game, I just started I just couldn't stop crying. Uh -huh. Because I'm, I'm a, my grandma's the only grandchild who didn't make it. Everybody was at home, but only me was the only one that was out there. So it was a big decision for me. And so, yeah. What went into that decision? Because as you said, you planned on coming back and going back home to yeah. for that. But what was what went into this decision to to decide to stay back and, and like you said, kind of be with your with your brothers here? Um, you know, uh, my grandma always told me she was like, if something happens to me, I want you to stay in Wyoming and handle what you got to handle. So that was a big, I took that into, into consideration. The thing that really hurt me a lot is, I don't regret anything with my grandma. Like we had to, you know, I told her I loved her a lot and everything. But um, uh, it was uh, just staying with the guys and I talked to Coach Callagas. Uh, what really got me was Coach Callagas said, I need you. And then um, from there, even Coach Bo told me, Coach Bo pulled me in his office and he's like, we need you this week. But Coach Bo, you know, that's why I love Coach Bo. He was very understandable about the whole situation. He was like, you have to miss the game. Well, well, well that's what we're going to have to live with. You know, but he was like, I, don't, I want you to handle this in the way you want to do it. So um, stayed with my team, with the team, man. And yeah. just, was it hard? Was it hard to... What, you know, when, when did you make the decision? Was it middle of last week? Was it late? And and was it hard? And was it hard getting up for the game? Or what was what was that whole process like? Uh, I decided late uh, Thursday. I was uh -huh. supposed to leave Thursday, and um, it, it came to the last decision. I called, I Facetimed my family, and I told uh, my auntie that I was in. They were really proud of me. They were like, you know what, that's that's a great decision you're doing. You know, she'd understand. She's gonna, she'll have the best seat in the house. And, you know, so that was a big thing for me. And, um, and just the whole process this week, it was a very emotional week for me. Uh, like practice and everything, it was like kind of hard to get my mind off everything. Uh, Calicus really knew what was going on because I'm usually smiling and everything, but my face was always just straight. And um, I just, you know, I just really wanted to be at home. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, I figured I'm at home, <laughs> you know, with my brothers. Right. So, you know, it just meant the world to me because uh, before the game started, Eddie Yarbrough, Pat Merlin's Chase, uh, Sonny, our whole D line, they dedicated this game to my grandma. That's why I cried at the game. Because before the game started, Eddie was like, we're going to do this for you. This one's for you. This one's for you. So, and then, so after the game, when they did the fun bro, and we ran on the field, and I just started. Right. So are you are you gonna dedicate the rest of your season to your grandma? Or have you thought anything about that? And do you expect it to be a little easier now, um, going going forward after getting through last week? I expect it to be a little easier now. You know, um, it, it just really shows how much this team. You know, this team means everything to me. Uh, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. Um, because when they told me they dedicated this game to my grandma, the defense, it just like it just it just showed how much you know they cared about me, you know, and uh, I would do the same for them in return. So, but the, it, now the process is more easier. The guys are been like checking up on me every day, and being around me, showing because right now all I need to do is be around some love right now, and you know the boys provide that for me. You know, always at my house, we watch. Looking forward to this week, another big opponent. You faced oh, yeah. big opponents in the past, but going to Oregon, second ranked team in the country, Allison Stadium and all that. What are your thoughts of that? Um, it's huge. I mean, my family's only two hours away from there. I mean, my whole family's going to be there. So, you know, it'll be good to see everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but this game is, 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 is huge because I got recruited from Oregon. And I always thought they were going to pull the off. I mean, they never did it. So I'm going in there with some redemption. Uh -huh. you know, so. They did recruit you, but they never offered yeah, you? they never offered yeah. me. I kind of knew it, too. But, right. You know, um, Oregon, 
you know, that's that's Oregon. <laughs> what, that's Oregon. Uh-huh. So that's all I gotta say. That's Oregon. I know. You know, they used. You know, they kind of were the first to kind of do all the different uniform combinations yeah. and stuff. Did, was there one in particular you've seen out? Whether it was this year or in the past that kind of caught your eye? Do you really pay any attention to any of that I really stuff now? I really don't pay attention to that because it kind of looks like Oregon went away from Oregon with, with their uniforms. Uh-huh. I mean, they're not even their traditional forest green and uh, bright yellow. It's, they be looking like different teams out there. <laughs> Last time I thought they were the Raiders when they went out there in black and gray, no green on them. I'm like, <laughs> so, you know, it's, I don't know. All right. <laughs>